This is practice problem 15.2, number four. Uh, and what we're doing here is we're finding uh, the volumes defined by cylindrical coordinates. And by and large, it looks very much like polar coordinates. Okay, this first problem is number four. Find the volume below the height uh, z equals r, where r is defined as uh, cosine theta. r cosine theta is the function, so really z is equal to cosine theta too. And it all has to be above the xy plane. That's going to limit our domain because if it all has to be above the xy plane, we don't want any r's or z's to be negative and go below the plane. So I have to limit the domain of cosine theta to those that return positive values. And of course, that's between pi over 2 uh, and negative pi over 2. So theta is limited by negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. That will guarantee that all of the returns for r are positive, and that means all the returns for z are positive, and that's to satisfy this condition. Okay, so our double integral is going to be theta between these limits, negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Uh, it's going to be r between these limits, uh, 0 all the way up to cosine theta. And then finally, the function is just z, so that'll be r and then r dr d theta. Remember, r d theta is used to uh, take into account all of the outer arc lengths. That's one dimension of these little base pieces, and dr is the other one. So r uh, times dr d theta, that just simply satisfies the dimensions of the pieces within the base, and this is the height, because that's the function z. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the double integral. I'm first gonna do the inner one. That's pretty easy. 0 to cosine of theta of r squared dr. And that's going to be r cubed over 3 between 0 and cosine theta. So that's just 1 third cosine cubed theta. And then that becomes the argument for the outer one. So this is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And it's 1 third of cosine cubed theta d theta. Okay, I ended up breaking this apart into two integrals, so what we ended up really integrating was uh, one-third integral from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 of cosine of theta minus cosine sine squared theta by using a Pythagorean substitution d theta, and then these are both in a form that integrate pretty easily. So it ends up producing, when you're all done doing the integral, plugging in the limits, it's 4 over 9. So that would be the volume of the space between uh, z and then this function within the xy plane.